Praise be Jesus Christ. Today's epistle, taken from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, St. Paul openly confesses how he used to be a persecutor of the church of God. But God, in his mercy and through his grace, called him to conversion and to be the apostle to the Gentiles. St. Paul, notwithstanding the severity of his crimes against the church, humbly confesses, and this ultimately glorifies God's mercy and power in him. We can say the same thing about each and every one of us. That is, God's mercy can be glorified in us through the sacrament of penance if we humbly confess our sins notwithstanding how serious they may be. In fact, everyone should be made aware that mentioning every serious sin in confession is necessary in order to receive God's forgiveness and mercy. It's certainly a tactic of the devil to make the soul feel ashamed about some particular serious sin that he intentionally does not mention it to the priest, and by doing so, he then commits the further sin of sacrilege against the sacrament. Just as one can commit sacrilege against the Eucharist by receiving while not in the state of grace, so one can also commit a sacrilege against the sacrament of penance by intentionally omitting some serious sin. And even though the priest may pronounce the words of absolution, none of your sins are forgiven, and you remain in bondage. And so it sometimes happens that for a serious sin committed during one's youth and then deliberately omitted in confession, One goes on for many years and even a lifetime in the state of sin. So this is how important it is to be completely open and honest with the priest in confession in order to have your sins forgiven and to glorify God's mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 